Hello. Hello. When we came out of the house, well, when Sean came out, everything was in black and white, wasn't it? <laughs> when we came out of the house, it was raining. It was. And then I was setting the camera up and it started hailing. It did hail. And then it snowed. There was a tornado off to the southwest. It's full of it, isn't it? And then the sun came out when we turned the camera on to say hello to you. Typical April weather up here in the Highlands. Well, anywhere in Britain at the moment, I think. Yeah. Now, before we go any further, I want to address some comments that we had about our vlog that we released on the morning of April the 1st. All oh, right. Uh, some, of, some people didn't quite get the angle that the vlog was aimed at. Uh, and there was a group of people that have specifically been in touch and asked us if we have any footage of us releasing the wild haggis back into the wild. <laughs> Some people, I yeah. don't know. Anyway, it's free now. Uh, so do you remember, last, it's either last week or a few weeks, I lose track of time lately. Yes. And we were talking about a new arrival on our croft. We were. Do you want to see him? Oh, I've said him. Well, tough because we ain't got him yet. But where we're standing now is where our new arrival is going to live when he arrives. We've had loads of people trying to guess who it is, a llama. <laughs> A pot-bellied pig. Somebody even said a dolphin. Yeah, a hairless cat. I like the sound hairless cats make when you slap them. <laughs> <laughs> now people are going to write in thinking that we're slapping hairless cats. I know, you know what they're like. We're not like that. We wouldn't hurt an animal. Uh, so where we are now is where the new enclosure is going to be built within, within a few weeks. And it's right on the edge of our woodland. Now, if you have a look at our woodland, it looks really creepy. I imagine Stig of the Dump living in there. Do you remember him? I remember him. I had a bit of a boy crush on Stig of the Dump when I were a boy. Cause I were really? A, yeah, I were about 10. I don't, there were just some, I mean, I probably didn't think about the smell, but <laughs> there was, I don't know, he just had this kind of lost innocence and <laughs> weirdness that I think I had as a 10 year old. Yeah, I can get Who that, were your yeah. boy crush when you were 10? I bet it were Clark Gable or somebody like that, wasn't it? Um. I can't remember. You can't, you can't remember what you had for breakfast. Can't remember what time I got up. <sighs> Speaking of chickens. Oh, Pudge. <laughs> I'm getting good at that. I could be like, what's his name? We're air. Does animal impressions. John, with, does John, animal impressions with hair. Well, you, you know who I mean, don't you? <laughs> Would you believe me if I said that Sean's managed to get the chicken fence finished? <laughs> no. Do you know why he's laughing? Because he's got a big tool in his hand. I've come with props. <laughs> Uh, no, the chicken fence is not quite ready yet. No. Sean was poorly dying, as, as, as we keep reminding you. Uh, but he has got a new toy for the chickens. Uh, Sean comes out on the morning and lets the chickens out of the coop. Uh, and then on the night, we go and put them back in again. But because he's lazy, well, not really because you're lazy, It's is not it? because I'm lazy, because summer is now coming. That gets more difficult because there's more daylight hours and trying to get them in on a night time is a nightmare <laughs> yeah yeah that's what he's telling people if truth be known what he does is he completely forgets and then he, he goes out to co-op or whatever and starts calling to old biddies down at shop completely forgetting that he's not let the chickens out and they're all still cooped cooped in cooped in yeah i know cooped in can't make this rubbish up <laughs> when they should be out playing all day so we've got this door and we can we can set it to open at a certain time 4 a.m really that early well we, when it's daylight yeah i suppose so yeah and so the chickens can come out and don't have to wait for sean anymore correct he's wanted one for a while aren't you but we thought we'd have to run a power cable which is like 4.6 miles from house isn't it it might as well be <laughs> Uh, but we found one online that's actually battery powered, isn't it? It's, uh, it just runs off four AA batteries and they, apparently, if it opens and closes once a day, will last about six months. Awesome! Which, which is really good, isn't it? Yeah. Not the cheap batteries that he buys, obviously, but I suppose if you put good batteries in it, it would last six months. 
and you can program it and it just it opens at whatever time you program it to and it closes again and it's got this nifty little safety feature that because obviously if it closes and you're not there and there's a, a chicken like just stood in the way being a bit bullshit it's yeah it's like them lifts you go in where it'll, it will kind of feel that there's a chicken there and yeah. open again it will otherwise sliced chicken not the good sort either mm. the other good thing about it is it literally came out of the box like that with these you just screw it into yeah. the, these holes and, and and it's ready to go which is brilliant for sean because he never reads instructions and he always balls it's like homer's barbecue isn't it <laughs> do you remember that i do yeah it's a little bit like that <laughs> so we're going to see how good sean is at installing it see if we can get it working i've had to make an adaption first all right come on then yesterday i panelled the bottom of the chicken coop's main door to give the new mechanical door something strong to fix to and that is where the new door will go. I drilled a pilot hole using a 10 millimeter drill bit and then used a jigsaw to cut out the light size hole. Yoo hoo! I've cut the hole out. Now all that's left to do is screw the door on. This is the easiest part. With the mechanical door open, I can see exactly where it needs to go. Once I know it's in the right position, I can fix it with six screws, switch it on, job done. <laughs> Are you gonna enjoy your lay-ins now then? I am. I don't have to get up and let them out now. You never used to get up and let them out now anyway. No, they used to cluck at me, something rotten. They used to what at you? Cluck at me. I thought that's what he said. <laughs> and do you think we'll ever get the chicken run finished? Tomorrow. I'll, it's been, November, December, January, February, March, six months it's been going. It'll be ready, it'll be done tomorrow. Right, hold him to that. Yeah, we'll have to put some in next week's vlog to see if it's finished or not. The one bit of good news, I'm not picking my bum. I, I, yes. No, I've got some in my back pocket and I'm trying to work out where it is by feeling it. I've got into trouble before doing that. Uh, the bit of good news is that the restrictions are changing in a few days yes. and the chickens are going to be allowed out again. Yes. Uh, now, the good news for us is that we, we don't have to put some netting over the new enclosure, which would have cost us quite a bit of money. And that would have been a task and a half. It would have been, okay. It had been like, not Bodger and Badger, who is it? To me, to you. To me, Chuckle, Chuckle Brothers. Brothers. That's it, yeah, I don't know where Bodger. It's because I'm thinking of Blair and, and, and Bodie and Doyle. And Bodie, that, and, like, Bodie and Blair. If this is first time people have watched this, they'll be thinking, what well, did they have switched off half an hour ago anyway? Well, yeah. I'll tell you what we could do with the money that we're saving from not now putting netting over the enclosure. What could we do with it? We could buy an incubator. No, I am not starting that. We could buy an incubator. One of our neighbours has got a lovely looking cock, haven't they? And what we could do is we could get some fertilised eggs off him. He has though, haven't he? We could get some fertilised eggs off him, buy an incubator, and we could incubate the chicks. We could. We could run a live cam so that you could watch it as well. That'd be so cool, wouldn't it? No, I'm not doing it. I think the only thing against it is that well, they can be quite noisy, can't they? Yeah. And you can't tell when you're incubating whether you're getting a, a boy chick or a girl chick. Yeah, and we don't want a load of cockerels. We don't want a load of cockerels because, well, A, the noise, and B, nobody wants them, and, and we couldn't kill them. No. No. Uh, so, no, I'd, I'd, I'd like an incubator because I'd like to see baby chicks, but I just, I, don't, I no. wouldn't know what to do with the boys. No. It's the first time I've said that in a few years, isn't it? Mind you, I am getting to that age where I, I kind of look and I wouldn't know what to do now. Well, even getting to that age, you've got to that age. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, I just want to thank everybody that commented and engaged in last week's vlog. I was quite blown away, to be honest, with yeah. the response to it. So thank you very much for that. Uh, that, that meant a lot, didn't it? It, it, it did, actually. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, Sean's new toy, holding his big tool. <laughs> Neighbours, cocks, it's, it's, it's been a great vlog, hasn't Stop it? Stop it, you can't say that. Why not? What is it called then? Cockerel. Oh. If you've enjoyed, enjoyed the vlog, 
if you've enjoyed the vlog, that would that would have been an outtake had it not been close to the outtakes. Yes. Uh, but if you've enjoyed the vlog, and if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and if you hit the notifications bell, YouTube will tell you every time we release a new vlog. Yeah. Let you know when we release more of this rubbish. If you you got to stop saying that. <laughs> People have already switched off the car to hear you anyway. <laughs> if you want to help support the channel, uh, there's a link to Patreon and YouTube members down in the video description, and there's a link, hopefully, to Patreon, depending on what device you're watching up, up above Sean's head. I'm, I'm starting to stutter a little bit. It's time for a coffee. It's time for a coffee and time to go. It is. Till next week. Bye bye. Ta ra. Hello. Hello. When we. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're doing it again. I've completely lost where I'm going. Three, two, one. Look at the camera went. That's why I do three, two, one. Gus. Go swap the drill for the door. You're using your battery up. I don't fancy going swimming in the sea near us on my own because I'd, I'd, I'd be scared of getting sucked off out to sea. <laughs> you know what? I swept out to sea. You know what I meant. I'm thinking about getting sucked off on a railway platform. <laughs> you know what I mean? When the train. <laughs> you can't say that! No, when, you get, when the train goes really fast, there's a sign saying don't stand too close to the platform edge or you'll get sucked off. No, it doesn't say that! Do, 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 I used to work on there. I used to write it on with chalk. Uh, anyway, if, if you're into, if you're interested in, well, not obviously getting sucked off on a railway platform. Stop, you can't say uh, that! You're going to. This is only take two minutes. Actual language, you just don't understand it.